chapter 2, lesson 4, is solving word problems. So since we're doing word problems, we need to remember our bar models from grade 4 and grade 3 and grade 2. But more importantly, are the bar models from grade 4. So these include the part whole, the add-on takeaway, the um, comparing with addition and subtraction. Okay, then there's the bar model for multiplication. And then there's also the bar model for comparing for multiplication and division. So again, uh, at the start of the module, there will be a summary of the bar model. So if you need to review these, then please make sure to review. Okay, so we will remember also that we're in grade 5 now. So instead of two steps, most of the problems will entail three steps. And for this lesson, calculator use is allowed for some problems. But as we discuss, I will assume that we are all using the calculator. Okay, so which means the problems that I have chosen are from pages 46 and 48. So I'll start with 46. Page 46, it says, the mass, this is 1A. The mass of a box and six cookies is 433. The mass of the same box and 10 cookies is 505 grams. So this is a compare model. So I'm going to start with that. So this is the box plus six cookies. And this is the box plus 10 cookies. So the box is the same box. Okay, however, the top has six cookies. So let's just say one. Okay, those are the six and these are now the 10. So the mass of the box with the six cookies would be 433 grams. And the mass of the box with the 10 cookies will be 505 grams. So which means this missing portion here is the mass of the four extra cookies. So the first thing that we want to do is find that. So I'll put question mark one. Okay, but the real question is what is the mass of the box? So that means this is question mark number two. Okay, so we'll start with number one, and it's 505 minus 433 equals question mark. Now, since the kids are allowed to use CalQ, then they could use the CalQ. However, in this problem, they're not allowed to use the CalQ. So only the problems that have the calculator picture are they allowed to do. But I'll discuss as if calculus are allowed. So that means this is 72 grams. Okay, now the problem also have lead on questions. And it says after we find the 72 grams, it says four units is equal to 72, which means one unit is equal to 72 divided by 4, which means one unit of cookie must be 18 grams. So again, put in your calc, 72 divided by 4 would have given 18. Now, the thing is, they say, for this is the unit that they used. So they say here that this is 10 cookies is equal to 10 times 18. Okay, but it could have also have been the six cookies times 18. But the reason for why they selected this is so that it's easier to multiply. So that means this is 180 grams. So since our question, this and this are the same, that means our step two would have been 505 minus 180 equals question mark. 
So again, if we do this, this will be 325 grams. So that means with the use of calq, we should have gotten that that box is 325 grams. Another problem that I'll be discussing is on page 48. So if we look at page 48, it says a 10 liter truck tank and a pail contained a total of 8,346 milliliters of water. Okay, so here the 10 liters is irrelevant. So again, huh, it says a pail and the tank contained a total of 8,346 milliliters. After 314 milliliters of water was poured from the pail onto the tank, the tank had 12 times as much water as the pail. Okay, so, wow. So, the drawing before. Okay, so here they gave a drawing, but we need to make sure that we understand the drawing. So, before, there's the pail and there's the tank. So, here's the pail and here's the tank. Okay, and together, that's 8,346 milliliters. Okay, so what happens is, we're going to take a portion of this pail and we're going to transfer it over to the tank. So when we take a portion and transfer to the tank, we still have 8,346. But they say after it's transferred, the tank has 12 times as much water as the pail. So that means one unit of this is 12 units of this. So one, two, three. So let's just pretend that there's 12. Okay, so which means this is still 8, 3, 4, 6 milliliters. Okay, so the question is how much water was in the tank at first? So which means this is the question without this. Okay, so in order for us to do this, the first thing that we have to do is to figure out what one unit is. Okay, and this is uh, 314 was transferred, 314 milliliters. So again, uh, even if that were transferred here, the content is still the same. So that means this together is still 8,346. So which means here they have guide uh, steps. So they say blank units. So that would be 13 units is equal to the 8,346 milliliters. Okay, so which means one unit is equal to, this will be 8,346 divided by 13. With the use of a calculator, that would have been 642 milliliters. So, which means one unit of that, is 642, which means that without the 314 is 642. So which means our second step will be 642 milliliters plus the 314 milliliters that was taken away should give you how much was in the pail at the start. Okay, so which means, again, with the use of a calculator, that should be 956 milliliters. So, again, parents and kids, it's hard. But, with practice, it actually can be easy. So, how do you know if you're doing the problems correctly? At the end of the modules, we will have the answer keys to all the problems in both the pupil book and the workbook. So if you practice, then in next year's math, then all of this will be easy. But clearly, the question is not asking for what's in the pail. 
it's asking for what's in the tank. So we need a third step, which can be done either by taking 8,346 and subtracting 956 milliliters, which gives us 7,390 milliliters, or we can take 12 times 642. So if we do that, minus, sorry, minus 314. So if we take 12 times 642 and we remove 314, that also will give us 7,390 milliliters. That concludes lesson four of chapter two, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.